The decline in Antarctic sea ice over the last couple months here into the summer has been unprecedented within the records of Antarctic sea ice that we have currently. The exact causes for why this is happening are not 100% clear, but it is almost certainly related to the increases in atmospheric and oceanic temperatures that have occurred in recent decades. The significance and the consequences of these uh, changes in sea ice around Antarctica are profound as everything in the climate system is connected. Traditionally, Antarctic sea ice has been relatively stable, and we've actually had a slightly increasing trend of Antarctic sea ice over the last few decades, up until about 2016, after which point we have seen a pretty precipitous decline in Antarctic sea ice. The current minimum in Antarctic sea ice, uh, which is the largest in record history uh, since uh, satellite or any type of record keeping has been kept for Antarctica, is unusual, but it is almost certainly related to changes in oceanic surface temperatures, as well as deeper water temperatures, as well as the atmospheric temperatures that have been occurring around Antarctica. Everything within the climate system is interconnected. Everything is correlated with everything else. And so changes in Antarctic sea ice, though remote, have tremendous impacts on our ocean atmosphere system, primarily through what is called brine injection, where when we form sea ice, we create a saltier residual water left over that is cold and dense, and it sinks into the deep ocean, forming deep water. Without this formation of deep water, we can slow down ocean circulation, which ultimately transports heat across the planet. And so we can disrupt how planetary heat is distributed through ocean circulation, which can have profound impacts on climate across the globe. While there are a few things that can likely be directly done in Antarctica to increase sea ice coverage, the primary thing that we as a uh, human society can do is to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. Basically, we need to get warming under control. We need to reduce the amount of heat that is being generated in the atmosphere and then being taken up in the oceans. Uh, only through doing this can we actually likely increase uh, sea ice recovery around Antarctica.